I came to Cardiff to study mechanical engineering and I did that for four years here, so the master's course and now I've stayed on to do my PhD. The kind of engineering that I study is electronic and electrical engineering, so anything from small circuitry up to high powered um, voltages etc. Civil engineering is a way of making effectively what architects design, making them work. I've chosen to do a year in industry with my course. This year I'm lucky enough to work with the Williams F1 team. At A-level I studied maths, physics, electronics and history. When I started to take those subjects I was pretty sure that I wanted to do something in maths and physics and engineering was quite a, um, a lead role in kind of where you could go with those subjects so that's what I decided to study. My A-level choices worked out uh, perfectly for engineering as it turned out. It was by chance really, uh, before I chose my A-levels I didn't know what I wanted to do and it just so happened that um, physics, maths and uh, chemistry were pretty perfect for uh, the role of an engineer. The maths and physics really prepared me for the lectures here and doing product design really helped me when it came to labs and designing things, so that really helped too. Cardiff University actually it was one of the, and still is, one of the best in the UK for mechanical engineering. Brilliant to have its own little campus of engineering. Uh, it means you can interact with civil, electrical, as well as mechanical engineering students. It's a really interesting place to be. The degree you get at Cardiff University is basically a problem solving one, and many companies do look for that in people. The project that I've undertaken in my third year is home automation. So for this I'll be designing an iPad or an Android app that then controls everything in a home from lighting to heating to entertainment. In my particular project I'm looking at the aerospace industry and advanced composite materials um, such as used on the Airbus A380 and I'm using a, t a technique called acoustic emission. So it's actually audibly uh, listening out for damage. The facilities here at Cardiff Engineering School are fantastic and in particular the electronics labs which are pretty new on the refurbishment front and have got a lot of expensive equipment for us to play with. There's the library which is open till midnight. In there you can have self-study areas, all the books you need for your course and there's often things going on like in the flexible working space we've got the forum which is great they have careers fairs there and industrial visitors coming around and projects being shown off so there's always something going on. My tutor has been brilliant in helping me into uni. They help you with around the city as well as your studies, which is really helpful when you don't know what you're doing. The staff at Cardiff School of Engineering are really, really great. Inspiring as an undergraduate student, it's nice to find out about the research they're doing. At the same time, they don't mind talking about it. Um, they've got enough time to, to talk with students on a one-to-one -one level. This is my third year here, and if I'm lucky enough, I'll continue my postgraduate study here. The career that I hope to get um, after I do my degree, and one thing I already have lined up, is a scholarship with Rolls-Royce, and I hope to join them straight after um, my degree. Now looking back on my time, I think um, it was a good idea to do my undergrad and my postgrad here. Uh, it was a lot of fun, I made a lot of friends, and uh, it's something I won't forget.